too deep depth chart uh, later on this afternoon, but we had a you know a really long scrimmage, and I think we got a lot of really good work done, some really good evaluation, and I'll hold uh, comments on that until you get the depth chart, and you can ask me about it tomorrow. But the uh, you know with the change of rule of the freshmen being able to play for four games, that changes some of our thought process on what guys may play. Uh, you know, it's not so much a, a critical decision on too deep, but it's what guys that will work in to get some meaningful reps in case we do need to play them. Uh, as far as today's practice, it was not a full padded practice. There was a lot of mental work, yet there's a lot of physical work to be done. Uh, the scrimmage, uh, we did have one uh, concussion. Uh, 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 Trey Smith uh, uh, had a concussion, and so he'll be going through this protocol. Uh, Blaine Breaker's in that as well, and, and how fast they progress, it's entirely up to uh, Dr. Boyer and sports medicine. But, you know, we're in hopes that they make their way back. Um, you know, we sustained some bumps and bruises, but outside of that, I thought we were pretty healthy and we were over 100 in some place. Yep. So we we're pleased with that. And we got some good uh, game experience. Um, you know, I, I, we, we thought uh, uh, Titus Swain really did some explosive things in the running game, and he's got to work on some other things, but he really showed some ability to make some nice cuts and to make some people miss, and so you can count on him. He'll be playing in the first game, and uh, we think he's ready for that. He still needs to practice some, but he certainly has good ability. So with that all being said, I'll open it up to any questions. What else stood out to you, good, bad, or even indifferent from, from the scrimmage? Mm -hmm. other than some of the um, you know, some of the stuff, I think we're faster on defense, mm -hmm. and our team speed is showing from that standpoint. We're not nearly as experienced, and you know, some of that comes into the, the guys that we had on our defensive line. We were really experienced there last year. And, uh, the other thing that did show up, though, um, um, uh, Rome Weber really did a great job, and he's going to slide into the starting spot, uh, the starting free safety. And so we're pleased with that. You know, there's been a good battle with him and Braden, but he's been making plays, and he, he, he came out and he really played well. And those positions are typically tough to evaluate in practice because can the guy make a play one-on-one -on -one in a contested situation, whether he's making a play in open field tackle or going up for the ball, and, and he showed and he answered the bell, so we were pleased with that. Rocket, uh, Ishmael really made a, a, a you know an explosive play for a touchdown where you know he caught the ball and broke away from some people, and uh, so he's learning more, and so we're going to utilize his skill set. How much does uh, Rome's Elevation have to do with Braden's hamstring at this um, point? We, we, we measured that, but yeah. Braden had gotten to the point where he was getting pretty healthy. He was still taking reps, and you know his, his uh, GPS speed had begun to, to rise, so he was feeling pretty good. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, both of those guys are going to be playing, but we're encouraged by where they're at, and we're really encouraged by what Rome did. You know, I know in the interior defensive line, it's mm -hmm. the depth of them. Did any other guys kind of emerge or show that maybe they can? get in the rotation from the scrimmage or anything like that? Or are you still kind of with that three-man rotation um, at this point? You know, you know what? Uh, Cole Goodbell uh, showed up. Mm -hmm. And he's a guy that we've been waiting to come. You know, he redshirted last year. He's put on some good weight. Um, he was disruptive. And I would say of all the guys, you know, they're playing well. But he's a guy that exceeded some of my expectations and our expectations. Are there any guys you held out of the scrimmage? Uh, mm -hmm. Logan Wilson didn't scrimmage. Okay. That was it. Mm -hmm. how'd, your, how'd your quarterbacks do? What were I thought, well, you know, um, our percentage completions were good. Uh, decision making was good. They certainly can improve. They were not live. And, uh, you know, that's always kind of handcuffs those guys a little bit. Mm -hmm. But I thought, uh, you know, all three of them played pretty well. I know you talked a lot about receivers and wanting to see those guys make contested catches. Mm -hmm. Did you see any of that on Saturday? Um, as soon as I say no, there'll probably be one I forgot about, but I, I, I don't really recall, yeah. you know, uh, one that, you know, where we had a couple, you weren't here during that period, yeah. but I mean, we had some receivers that are playing the NFL right now. I, I didn't see any of that. They made some nice catches, and I said Rockets' play was good. Mm -hmm. He separated from people, but it wasn't like a contested play. I know you've mentioned Trayton Wells quite a bit during you know, the camp. You know, he was a guy that had a contested catch, Trayton Wells, yeah. You know, and he's going to be a guy that we're, we're going to play. Mm -hmm. He, you know, will play a lot of tight ends. Yeah. He's not risen to the top, but he's a guy that will end up playing this year. Is he a guy that's a little more versatile that you can split out, put out in the slot and try to get some mismatches? 
And that, so uh, we can do some of that. We've done that in yeah. the past, and then he can play a traditional tight end. The other uh, comment I, I do want to make, uh, uh, Ryan Galovich will be our starting punter, and you'll get that. But that's kind of noted. Yeah. We've been going through a pretty contested uh, battle on that, and I think he's striking the ball well. Has there been any, any consideration of moving Dante back there and losing him at punter again? At all? Uh, not really. The problem that we had, he, he strikes the ball so hard mm -hmm. uh, that actually what happens is he's, he got a pretty significant muscle tear, and we think we're probably going to have that again. And so I think we're going to keep him right where he's at. As you get into the last week of camp, like I said, you're having a depth chart later today. Mm -hmm. But sure, there's work to be done. Is it a lot of evaluation work? Is it momentum work? Is it prep, um, game prep work? It's, it's game, it, we're get, we're going to start to get into game prep stuff. and. Uh, Still some fundamental work, and particularly the younger players uh, have got to get some more fundamental work. But we're, we've kind of evaluated where we're at. Now we're going to take those guys and get those guys ready to play. Do you know who your fourth and fifth linebackers are at this point? Um, well, I can say Ben Wisdorf yeah. is in there. He's our fourth. Um, you know, Chad Moom is our, our third. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of where we're at, our fifth. Uh, we're still up in the air a little bit. You know, how's, how's the progression with at left, at left guard with uh, Pat and, and uh, Big e? I, You know, when we thought Patrick Arnold really played well mm -hmm. in the scrimmage. Uh, Big E is, is challenging. There's things that both of them do well. Both of them need to play better. Uh, but uh, we're we're pleased with uh, uh, with the two guys there. And, and your tackle depth behind your two starters, is Frank Crum still coming along or he, anyone else? Yeah, Frank came along. He got a lot of reps. We did not. Uh, Rudy Stouffer missed. Uh, he had his sister got married. So that was good to, for him to be at his sister's wedding, which I think is important. Uh, and then we held uh, uh, Alonzo Velasquez out. And so uh, Frank got a lot of reps, and he's doing pretty well.